Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. Thanks for being here today. We are gonna focus on a very healthy smoothie. It is an avocado, cilantro, dreamy, creamy smoothie. It's a recovery smoothie for me. So I just finished training and I start my day with a mean green juice. If you haven't checked it out, it's in my previous video. You can click on the link right here. I'm gonna go ahead and talk through a lot of the things that I'm gonna be putting into my shake. And in my smoothies, I normally don't have a, uh, an agenda on what I'm doing. People have asked, well, what do you do? How do you make it? What goes in it? So I'm gonna go ahead and write the great benefits, why I choose them, and um, let's go ahead and get started. This is a five serving bag of frozen avocados. If you have a fresh avocado, even better. If you want it to be cold, add some ice. Uh, I'm gonna use about three quarters of a cup or maybe like 50 to 85 grams. So that'd be maybe a three quarter of an avocado if you're doing one at home or half avocado. We'll give you about three-ish grams of fiber. So it's great in fiber. Most importantly, I am focusing on my heart health. So avocados are really good for your health. One thing to note, if you have IBS or um, highly allergic to certain foods, this is maybe not the best smoothie for you because the main ingredient is your avocados and sometimes they can be upsetting to the stomach so just keep that in mind and then i'm going to go ahead and get some of this delicious mint um, that's just for a touch i'm going to focus on a lot of cilantro this is beautiful i love cilantro cilantro to me not only tastes good um, again you can take out or add in whatever you think works for your stomach um, i love cilantro it's so delicious so i'm going to put like probably about a half a bundle of my cilantro. I also like peppers. Peppers are delicious. Uh, a half a serving of maybe an Anaheim pepper is gonna give me all the vitamin C I need for my daily intake. It's like over 100% for sure. And I love the taste so much and I wanna make my avocado smoothie spicy. Again, you can take the, the um, these out or just do like just a tiny serving of that. And do I want a pepper, uh, cucumber? No, I don't want a cucumber. What else do I have in my little garden bowl? I'll use, um, no, no beets today. We're gonna keep it green, green. My four lettuce leaves. And then I'm also gonna add some kale. Kale is very pungent, so I keep it mainly into my uh, green juice in the morning, but I will get um, some kale in there. And also, let's see, we'll do greenish. Yeah. Some green kale and Let's get some spinach. We gotta, you know, I love my spinach. It's got to be Popeye strong. All right, so with this pandemic thing, I hope you're all staying safe. And it's more than ever, you need to be focusing in and loving your body and nourishing it, giving yourself a healthy immune system, staying healthy for not only yourself, but for your loved ones. And I think right here is enough, but I'm going to put something for recovery. And that's going to be my Vega Sport Recovery. Yeah, so I'm gonna put a scoop of this. You can get different flavors. The flavor I happen to have is called Tropical. It only makes it better. It might sound gross. You're like, spicy avocado and cilantro. No, this can be like what does bring some sweetener to your smoothie after all. But that's that. I put a scoop of that. It is tropical flavored, if I didn't say that. So it's full of good stuff. You can research that all on your own. I don't know, maybe you already have some supplements at home. This is just what I like to add. This is additional, again, not necessary for the recipe. It's just what I do, because if I can throw in some supplements and just add to everything, that's even better. This is strawberry. This is a collagen beauty. This is a energy and focus. I like this too. I only put about a half, but, uh, and I'm gonna add a wheatgrass, since we're already going green. And that's just a tiny little scoop. And since it is already green, I'm gonna add some chlorella. And this would be like literally a thumbnail full right there. It might look like a lot, but it's really not. Now, the next thing you gotta think about is do you want it to be very creamy? Then you'll add um, cow's milk or your option of non-dairy beverage such as oat milk, soy, almond. I recommend oat milk, it's the best. It's just dreamy. So you can put that into your smoothie, make it extra creamy, or you could just put a little bit. I'm putting less than a quarter cup, and then I'm also going to put 
some water. And I just get enough water to know that it's gonna blend in my mixer. And then the last thing, I want some cordyceps. I'm gonna add some cordyceps. I like the lion's mane and the reishi and I got some cocoa, maca, spirulina, a little teaspoon of that. I have my uh, ratios in which I mix my blend and I just add a scoop of that. Again, those are just added um, supplements that are not necessary for this delicious smoothie. Today, I'm feeling some achiness in my hips and my knees. So avocados have been known or they've suggested in research that they may decrease arthritis, especially in the hips and knees. So here we go. And why not? Okay, you try everything. As long as you're trying it, you're doing it, you're giving yourself your best effort in the day, that's all that matters. I'm gonna top that on to my Vitamix, whichever version this is. All I know is it works. Then I'm gonna go ahead and keep it on the setting for icy, because my avocados were icy. So now I'm gonna voice over on the rest. I'm gonna be talking about some of the supplements I threw in there. And if you haven't seen the video, that I did last week on that mean green juice. You really gotta check it out. It'll give you some insight on how I prep all these veggies. I'm going to quickly talk about two of the supplements that I've added to my smoothie today. One is my Vega Sport Recovery Supplement, which helps me jump into my daily routine right after a workout. This one I love because it quickly restores my glycogen stores and it's loaded with minerals, carbs, and vitamin A, which helps support my immune system. Secondly is the Garden of Life Pre-Workout called Energy and Focus, which also comes in sugar-free. It's been my new favorite for the past three years, and I say that because I normally like to switch around and try different brands. This one is definitely a fave. It is delicious, and I like to use this half scoop for a pre-workout and a half scoop post-workout like I've done in this video today. I've learned that that's what works for me. It's yummy, and it gives me about 40-ish grams of clean coffee berry caffeine for a half a scoop. And now I'm going to hand it back to myself. That is a delicious recipe. It's a very, very creamy. A lot creamier than I'm used to because I normally drink um, like juicy type of greens. And I thought today this would be really cool to make something creamy. So normally in my smoothies, um, my recovery smoothies, I don't add oat milk to be honest. I'm just a water person, but I wanted to try the real creaminess of this. And it, so far, tastes really good. So let's give it a try. All right, so now that it's poured, let's do the delicious actual drink test. Hmm. I have like a party in my mouth and I'm not sure what I'm really tasting. It has definitely the spice kick that I love really really good i actually could have used one more pepper so it would have been like a one and a half pepper and i almost like i get a hint of cilantro behind the avocado which is cool because i love cilantro so it's like the perfect blend it's really like a great balance anyways i actually even considered on doing my first fast um i heard about this thing called prolon so i'm gonna try that and uh, if you want to see my journey along the five-day program on that, because I just ordered it and I'm waiting for it, so let me know in the comments below. And anything else, any recipes you have for me or might want to see me change or add, let me know in the comments below. Love you guys. Bye. Until next time. Juice up.